video on the bulk reef supply dual reactors, the GFO and the carbon uh, that I purchased. My rock's going to be in soon, so I wanted to get this set up um, before I get the rock in the tank and get it all situated in my sump. So I'm going to do a quick video on how to fill the media in the um, reactor tubes and clean the media out and um, set the flow for the GFO. So what I have is I have the dual reactor there and then I have the um, the GFO media then I have the carbon activated carbon and then I have a bucket of RO water for the uh, reef crystals or yeah bucket of RO water for, to, to rinse the media and I'm going to use the maxi jet um, 1200 so I'm going to get going here and see if I can set up the camera so you can see everything that's going on. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the uh, canisters off the, the holder. Now normally this is going to be set up in the, in the cabinet, but for this, uh, just the video, I have them here like this, so I just unscrew. Then the canister comes out like that. Um, the center part, then the bottom unscrews. You're going to have one foam pad, then an additional foam pad inside here. There's also one foam pad up at the top. And what I'm going to do with the, um, with the GFO is I am going to only fill it part way. Um, probably, I'm probably only going to fill it a quarter of the way up um, just because there's nothing in the tank right now. And um, I don't really know how much to use. If anyone knows exactly how much to use, just give me, give me a holler, let me know. Um, but I'm only going to fill it a little ways for now. Then I'll fill the carbon uh, further. Probably going to go at least halfway on the carbon. Just get something to push down the foam pad. Yeah, maybe I'll go three quarters. So right about there. Now these are all marked, it says idiot proof, this end up. The bracket is marked GFO, carbon. Not very, uh, not very difficult. See if I can do this without spilling it. I forgot I had to leave um, some room here so that way um, the GFO can tumble.
going to do this over the sink because this will be a little bit more difficult. So they're all set, so now I'm just going to screw them on top, top of the, uh, the mounting bracket here. Okay. I only turn the flow on a little bit because I don't want to blast I don't want to blast the media there. Take the camera off the tripod here. That's what we don't want in our tank, so that's the GFO that's going to be rinsing off of that. Look at that, I must not have it tight enough, I already got a small leak. You're only supposed to have to put them hand tight. Let's stop leaking now. Look at the water. Well, I guess that doesn't doesn't really matter a whole lot because the more the more power you give or the more flow you give the uh, the units, the 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 sponges rise to the top. That's full flow, and probably because the water's cold, it's really hard to see, but I do have a tumble in there. You can barely see it tumbling. Oh, there we go, when I turn it off. I see all the media went to the top. So what happened was, uh, when I first put it in, all the media went to the top, and then I, I turned the, I shut the flow off, the media fell back down, and now it's tumbling a little bit better, and you can see how far it's filled up instead of being down here, it's way up here. And that's the water.
so that's about it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, the next video should have rock in the tank, and um, the the dual reactors will be in the sump and be working. Um, again, thanks for watching. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe.